In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add fog. We're also gonna create a fun, stylized edit of this landscape photo. What's up, my friends? My name is Pi, and I am stoked because we are teaming up with Skylum to bring you a new set of Luminar tutorials. And in this first one, we're talking about several things. We're gonna first show you just how easy it is to add fog to your landscape images or really any image. But I'm also gonna show you guys how to use layers and we're gonna end up with a final stylized edit of this image here. This is the time to download the exercise file if you wanna follow along or simply load up an image of your choosing. So let's jump into Luminar. Now, what we're gonna do first is I just wanna show you how to add fog to your images. It's actually very, very simple. We're gonna to go to the Creative Toolkit over here and right at the very bottom, you'll notice the fog. It's really as simple as that. You're just gonna dial the amount up. So I'm gonna take the fog actually up to 100% so you can see the effect. This is light fog, we can flip this over to dark fog. Essentially it's changing the way that this is gonna blend with the underlying image. Now at 100% like this, looks terrible. I mean, we can't even see anything. It's too much fog, all right? There's a, there's a, there's a good amount of fog and then there's way too much, we, we cross that line. But here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and select the edit mask option and you're gonna choose a gradient mask. Now what I like to do is kind of imagine what I wanna do with a photograph. So what I wanna do with this shot is I'm gonna actually pull the fog down from the top in this graduated mask. And what's essentially happening is we're kind of creating this look where we can adjust this up and down and it looks like the rock formations of uh, Bryce Canyon or Zion, wherever this was. I shot this several years ago. Do you notice that it's now a great time to go back and re-edit some of our older images? So it looks like the rock formation is extending up and into the clouds, and I dig the way that this looks. Now from here, you just simply adjust however much of this fog you wanna keep. You can flip it back and forth and see what it looks like with light versus darker fog. I kinda like the way that the light fog is blending a little bit more. I might pull this up just a little bit and have it kinda be this nice little fog that's introduced up to the top. Okay, cool. So that's one version. I'm gonna press enter and let's just take a look. Let's check a look at our uh, before and after, okay? So if I click this little before and after button, I can kind of swipe and see and go, hmm, that's pretty cool. Now, what if I kind of use a little of my inner Bob Ross creativity to think of some other things that I could do to this? Let's create a stylized edit. We're gonna put all these pieces together. We're gonna to actually use layers as well. So I'm gonna press Control Shift R or Command Shift R to reset everything out. We'll go ahead and turn off the before and after. And now here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna go back to the Essentials palette. We're gonna to go to Layers. We often forget that we can work inside of Layers in Luminar 4. So what I wanna do is actually create a couple different layers here. So let's do this. Let's create a new adjustment layer. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and rename this and let's call this Blue Clouds, okay? So what I wanna do on this layer is I just want to affect kind of the temperature of this layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the temperature down, okay? All the way to this negative side. Now, I'm gonna go back to this layer because obviously this just looks like it's a very blue image now. But what I'm gonna do is edit this mask and add a graduated mask that now graduates the effect from top to bottom. Now what I'm trying to do with this layer is essentially say what if there was like this kind of blue cloud layer that was right over this set of rock formations and you had this kind of sunlight peeking through on this bottom set, right? What would that look like? So I'm going to create that. What I'm going to do is dial this to be a little bit less intense, okay? So we're going to pull it back maybe do about like right here, okay? Now from this place, I'm gonna actually go to see, well, I can do one of two things. I can try to add fog directly to this layer, or if I want to create a new layer for just fog, I could do that as well. I'm gonna add it to this layer. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and start increasing and adding fog. Now, the reason I like this is because it's tied to the same layer as that graduated filter, right? So we're kind of, applying this fog layer only to that top part of the image where we're changing the color. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I like this better as a dark fog or if I like this better as a light fog. And I do believe I like it better as a light fog. I'm gonna take it up to maybe like 90 and I'm gonna go back to my temperature and kind of play. Okay, so this is where I like it at negative 100, but if I wanna have extra control, well, I probably need to look at the amount that's being added, right? 
So this is where it's nice to have everything saved in two layers, because what if I want the clouds to be a little more opaque, but I don't want the blue to be quite as strong. I could keep it all here, but to have it be independently adjusted, I would separate them out. So let's just do that. Let's go and rename this to just rename to blue lighting. Oh, one more time. Okay, so blue lighting. Now what I'm gonna do on this layer is I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the creative side and I'm going to reset out the fog. We're gonna go back to this side and I'm just gonna change the blend amount to an amount that I like for the blue undertones, okay? Next, I'm gonna go back to my layers. I'm gonna click plus, add a new adjustment layer. This go around, I'm gonna rename this and just call this cloud cover. You know, because I didn't wanna call it fog. Now we're gonna go and actually add fog on this independent layer and it's adding it to everything. That's okay, because now we'll just grab another gradient mask and go ahead and pull this down from the top. Okay, and now we have these two effects that are completely separated from one another. So now I can choose the amount of blend that I want. Okay, and I could also go back to that previous blue layer and I could increase the strength if I want it to be a little bit more blue. And I can go back to cloud cover and I can get this right balance between the two essentially, right? So kind of pull this back a little bit. Let's go back to here, pull this one back a little bit and kind of control both these layers a bit independently. Now I like the way this looks. it's kind of fun. It has this sort of frosted tips kind of look to the image where like all the tops of these rocks look like there's this little bit of snow that's like landing on them. So let's go ahead and finalize this out. And what I might do is just, let's see, let's create a new adjustment layer on top of everything. And we're just gonna call this our final adjustments. Now from here, I can kind of go in and start adjusting the exposure. I can adjust contrast. What I'm gonna do is take the contrast up just a bit. I'm gonna bring the highlight point up just a bit so it kind of looks as if these peaks are sort of vanishing into those clouds. I'm gonna bring the shadows down so we can see a little bit more detail. Let's go into the advanced side. See if I can add a little more whites. See if I can add a little more blacks. Kind of start getting this really fun look overall in our image. It has this very fun, creative feel to it, right? So this is what I mean about a stylized edit. I hope you guys don't murder me. I know this is not, you know, falling into the journalistic integrity of this moment, but sometimes we just want to create fun photographs. So can we just create fun photographs without having to worry about whether it existed? Because honestly, it looks like it did exist. So let's go and look at the before and after. Okay. So this is our sunlight kind of hitting these bottom rocks. This is the top side being covered in kind of this bluish fog. And I really like the way that this looks. I think it's a fun, creative edit. Looks great, has a really fun color graduation to it. You guys can make any additional tweaks or adjustments that you'd like. I hope this was a useful tutorial. And if it was, I'd love for y'all to subscribe to this channel. Leave comments below. I'm gonna be checking out the comments and looking for ideas for future videos. So be sure to let me know what you think. Let me know what topics you guys would like to learn next. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.